Hey, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm doing a training run, trying to get ready for a 50K in September. And I do not feel like running today, but I've got a four mile run on my calendar in the training. And I guess there's a lesson in running ultras on days like today when you don't feel like it is. Sometimes you just gotta cover the miles. Whether you walk more, shuffle, whatever it is, just get the distance done. Don't worry about time. Just finish what you started. Execute the plan. Talk to you in a little bit. So I'm doing something a little bit different for this training, for this 50K. I've got a short training block. Basically, I just started training last week when I got home from Uganda. And one of the things I'm doing this go around that I haven't really done in the past is I'm running with a friend more often than not. I usually like training alone because I don't like to feel like I need to speed up my pace, slow it down, or basically because I'm kind of selfish in my training and don't want to inconvenience other people with my method of training. But my buddy Ryan, good dude, always willing to go with the flow. And we get to have a lot of God conversations when we run and talk about the Bible and stuff. So it's fun. I'm gonna try to do more with him last time getting ready for the 50 miler i did some training with nathan we did long runs together that was also a great conversation so i loved that uh, he's a good training partner and we ran together uh, but i encourage you especially on long runs it's always helpful to do it with somebody not alone so one of the things working against me on today's run that i knew better was i had a huge mexican breakfast after church or Mexican lunch but I hadn't had Mexican food in two weeks so I ate way more than I should had my favorite place Rosa's well one of my favorite places other favorite place is El Juarez on the square off uh, by Highway 5 across from the old dogs and hogs bleachers now I think it's called or something like that so anyway uh, I knew better, but I couldn't resist, and so I'm paying for it right now. So, I always call this route my JW route on my Garmin, because I run by the Jehovah's Witness, uh, I forget what they call it, yeah, meeting place. And I always pray for it that they might come to the truth of the gospel. It's a false church based on works of the law, not on the work of Christ completed for you and me. And wasn't even founded till the late 19th or early 20th century in Brooklyn. So it's kind of hard pressed when you think about it just from a historical point of view, that the true faith of Jesus Christ surfaces 2000 years almost after his ascension. Uh, kind of hard to believe uh, and that it would originate in Brooklyn uh, just a lot of things are problematic particularly about how they believe one is saved and how many spots in heaven there are for people uh, so it's sad but I pray for the people people who have uh, grown up in it or been convinced that it's true are good people they've just been led astray and so I pray for the fact that one day they may find the truth and be saved by the gospel. So some might say that that last little piece when I talked about the Jehovah's Witness Church was judgmental, that kind of behavior shouldn't be tolerated in society today. We ought to love everybody despite it. And I guess all I have to say to that is I've been called by the Lord Jesus Christ to proclaim that his death and his resurrection 
was given to save all people of every place and I'm called to proclaim that truth and also to point out false teachings where people have wandered from faith in Christ and have put themselves and their salvation in peril so that's all I got to say about that and I'll continue to because well that's what the Lord's called me to do and just so you don't think I'm a Grinch this is two churches Community North Baptist Church and Amagio Deo which is starting so it's a church on Sunday mornings it's a Baptist church and the Amagio Deo is a new church plant that meets on Sunday evenings at 5 p.m. so when I run by here I pray for this Christian church both of them that the gospel they share might bear fruit and maybe they will get to their neighbors the J-dubs you can always pray okay thanks for following along with me that was the first training vlog for the Piney Wood 50k peace out